Good evening, brothers and sisters. We're going we gonna, to, this, this talk with about uh, who is God only begotten son and who is his firstborn son? I don't have that much time, so we're going to dive straight into the scriptures. We're going to go to Exodus 4 and 22. This is Moses coming to get us out of Egypt after the long bondage we served, after, we, you know, they were putting a hard boy on us, you know, working long hours, you know, basically what's going on now. But 4 and 22. Then you shall say to Pharaoh, thus says the Lord, Israel is my son, my firstborn. So I say to you, let my son go, where he may serve me. Okay, we are the father sons. We are the sons of God. That's what we don't know. And it's sad. And that is what's killing us. And we're we going we gonna to keep the scriptures going. I'm not going to talk too much. I'm going to let the scriptures do the talking. We're going to go to Job 9 and 21. I'm blameless, yet I do not know myself. I despise my life. It is all one thing. Therefore, I say, he destroys the blameless and the wicked. So one thing the devil do, he came to kill, stay, and destroy. So he destroy, your, he destroy you if you don't know yourself. Key thing, brothers. If we don't know ourselves, you get destroy. I'm going to be a victim of that. And people, why, 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 why did the Lord let the devil destroy? Well, he go, we keep going to job this 9 and 24. The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of its judges. Who judges the earth? Oh, they got judges walking this earth. We got to find out who them are. If God judged the earth, what do you think he put his sons here for? If it is not he, then who else? Okay, we're going to keep going back to the, we're going to keep going to the scriptures. We're going to go to Psalms 82. We're going to go to Psalms 82. They do not know, nor do they understand. They walk about in darkness. And all the foundations of the earth are unstable. Why? Because it is in the hands of the wicked. I said, you are gods. And you are. And all of you are children of the most high. But you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth. For you shall inherit all the nations. Yeah, I can't see this light blinding y'all. But you know, it says, I said you are gods, and all of you are children of the most high. Hmm, who are the children of the most high? We all know it gotta be Jacob, right? That's if you read the Bible. Uh we're gonna we're gonna go to Psalms 147 and 49. I'm trying not to talk, just gonna hit you with some scriptures plan to see. He declares his word to Jacob and his statutes and his judgments to Israel. He has not dealt thus with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Okay, so they don't, if you don't know the father judgment, which his judgment is pure, true, righteous, and you can't give them. So why did they, Negro was the only ones who was killed for reading the book? Think about it, brothers. Think about it. Now, that should help you understand what Jesus, why he called himself the Father is in me and the Father is in you. And it also should help you understand when you turn to Matthew and see his name was Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. God is with who? God is with his kids. But God took, took, took his spirit away from us because we didn't obey him. That's one thing we need to understand. We only God's when we obey our Father. And we obey our Father, we walk in right, our heart is pure, we are humble, we are making righteous decisions. Not nothing of this world righteous. Of the, of the of the of the father because remember this world is wicked so if you follow the world you follow something wicked that's what we need to understand but we're gonna go to john and five john and 13 and 14 and 2 man that, that's just like blind and go to john 14 and 2 and say jesus is the way and the truth the way and the truth and the life okay oh yeah okay all right so Jesus say, let not your, this 14 and 1, Jesus say, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe in me also. So that means if another brother come to you and he come with you with pure heart, you got to believe in that brother because God lives in him. God lives in all of us once we obey him. So if you got a brother come to you who keeping the commandments, believe him because that's not him talking, that's God talking. Let your heart not be troubled. You believe in God, believe in me also. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have not told you. I go to prepare a place for you. 
And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know. And the way you know. So Jesus was sitting there telling you, you know the way. You got to search for yourself. Okay, I'm going to keep going. And do you not believe that I am, I am in the Father and the Father is in me? This is 14 and 10. The words that I speak, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me, the works. Believe me, I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe me for the sake of the words themselves. Most surely I say to you, he who believes me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. So Jesus got all this from his father because he understood. This is my father. I am a son. I am the son of God. Me and the father. Me and the father are one. That is my father. That's all Jesus was saying through his whole New Testament. We take this New Testament and we run with it. So I go to the other books to clear everything up. And that's another thing we need to go to get into Jesus' real teaching. Because this is a Shakespeare twisted thing. So I'm going to go to the secret book of James. This is what Jesus tells them. He tells us to Peter and James. He said, Jesus said, no, but I shall return to the place from which I came. If you want to come with me, come. They all answered and said, if you are us, we'll come. They were no Jesus are. So Jesus said, he said, I tell you the truth. No one will ever enter heaven's kingdom because I ordered it, but rather because you yourselves are filled. Leave James and Peter to me that I may fill them. Then. He called the two of them and took them aside and commanded the rest to keep doing what they are doing. The Savior said, you have been favored through the Father to receive my sins. The other disciples also have written my sins in their books as if they understood. But be careful. They have done their work without really understanding. They listen like foolish people and have not understood. That's deep. So that's what that's what our oppressors know, because they read all this. So they get with this book and they know we're not gonna understand it. So with that being said, short video. I hope I hope the Father circumcise your heart and your mind to receive something, to open your mind to read something to help you understand the, the true teachings, because they are hidden. And if you in this book, it's gonna confuse you if you don't read the other books. So peace, one love. May the Father continue to keep us in his truth. Love y'all brothers and sisters. The wake up call is now. It's time to wake up. One love. Peace.